Hello guys and welcome to another XP11 full flight video here on the channel. Hope you're all doing well. And today we're back on the ground in New York, ready to take the return flight back to Nairobi here in the Magna 787. Uh, we're getting the catering and cargo loaded on board the aircraft. And we're going to be flying KQ003 all the way back to Nairobi today and we're expecting flight time of about 12 hours 41 minutes and a block time of 13 hours and 9 minutes going to be cruising at 5330 today on our flight back to Rhodes, Nairobi going to be estimating to use about 80 tons of fuel we're going to be carrying 82.2 tons of fuel on our departure we should have about 2.1 uh, tons extra when we get to Nairobi, it's going to be our Allstate Airport of Fuel. Packs on board the aircraft today, we've got 231, 15.5 tons of cargo, and that is all we're looking like for our payload. But I've just got the ground power connected, got a few things turned on in the cockpit just uh, to make it a little bit easier. This is the latest version of the Magnet, it is 1.6.4, so there's a few new features in here. And I am also running a new sound pack, it's a donationware sound pack from the developer FTSIM. So let me know what you guys think of the new sounds, there's a bunch of new reworks, cockpit switch sounds and some other stuff as well. So let me know if you guys prefer this one, and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. So don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, but let's not waste any more time, let's get into the cockpit, get things finished up and ready to go over to Nairobi. So here we are in the cockpit of the Magna 77, and there you go, first thing you see is the new checklist down there. And if you take a look up here, you can see everything that I have already done so far, I've already got the payload data entered into the EFB and I have the flight plan entered into the CDU there so nothing too much left to get finished off apart from getting our take up performance Uh, we're departing it from way through on left. The wind's currently 150 at 20 knots. It is 14 degrees Celsius outside, 30.15 inches, and we'll see what flaps 10 gives us. Um, Anti-icing will keep off, okay, and all of that looks good. Calculate our V-speeds, and that looks fine there. We will stick with those. The generator control switches turned on. We got these. Let's see you know, uh, so that's the pre-flight ch checklist right there. And all we can do now is just head over to the best pushback. And we'll get the pushback pre-planned. Route of cockpit, plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. And the RSs are almost finished landing. Can start getting the doors closed up. 
Uh, take a look here. 177 is our V2. We get 18,000 feet. Plugged into our MCP. And we'll set our runway heading for runway 31 left is going to be 314 degrees. There we go. It's going to be a straightforward departure, and then a left turn out to back towards Yahoo, which is basically behind us when we're departing out from way through and left. Um, we can go ahead and get the AP over to the start position. Start to get rid of the garland trucks. Ground to cockpit, tow is driving up. Uh, let's get the fuel pumps turned on. Connect the ground power. Go to the ground power there from many. Open the performance page again. Uh, and you can see all the doors are around. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. On the LNF, get the flight directors on. Um, there he is connecting. Don't worry about the transponder setting because we're flying offline, so that's not going to do any worries for us. All right, so we should be good to go in a second here. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. There we go, uh, and we'll release parking brake. Starting pushback, and you may start engine. Alright, um, see how we're doing here. We'll get the engine number one, and we'll see the start position. Don't know why the flaps. I never actually set the flaps, but. That's happened. Um, all right. 
Can't see you get that restart again. Starts. And then we're taking a car things out maybe. Don't know what the issue was there. The flaps had started setting themselves to 20. Could be something to do with the checklist. Good engine starts on the left side. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. All right, there he goes. Thank you very much for the pushback. And we can get our tax light turned on. Get the auto brake over to RTO. And then let's get EVS opened up. Taxi all the way out to Julian Bravo. Alright, he's already gone, so we should be good to go. Let's park it right there. And just get ourselves taxi out to Julian Bravo. And we'll be good to go along on the long way and Get ourselves out of New York.
nice and our left turn into Alpha. Approaching zero four left. Got the strobe light on as well. Got the tax light off now since we have the land lights on. Julia Bravo, which is our next turn on the right. Okay, we'll close ABS up. Approaching three one left. Uh, let's see ourselves lined up here. A little bit. On runway three one left. There we go, guys. We are uh, lined up on runway three on the left. Everything else is looking good. We've got auto brake set to RTO. Full takeoff checklist is complete. Just a quick scan of the overhead uh, panel, and everything is looking good up there. Right, the block brake is released. Take a thrust is set.
and I'm heading to start with engage all the throttle. Now we can engage all the parts as well, and as I can come off. Start making that a left turn out back towards uh, Yahoo. There's New York Channel Pain International Airport down on our left side. Direct to Yahoo from our current position. I'm going to speed up to 220 knots. Engage me now for speed up to 250 knots now. Guys, there we go. That's our departure out of New York. We're gonna continue the climb here up to flight level 330, and yeah, we're cruising for about 11 hours or so, and then um, we're back with you guys on our descent and arrival into Nairobi tomorrow morning. So enjoy the cruise cinematics, and I'll see you guys. In a few moments, we'll be back on our arrival in Tenerife.
All right, guys, welcome back into the flight deck. We're here on our approach into Nairobi. We've been in the air now for just over 12 hours and a half, 12 hours and 33 minutes, as you can see there on the clock. We've got the uh, um, sent checklist already completed, so we've got the uh, landing minimum set there to 200 on the radio. Auto brake one is set and got the performance data entered in here. We got our speed. So it's going to be a VREF of 138 and flaps 30. You can see there, full reverse is auto brake 1. There are the winds right now in Nairobi. 40 degrees of 4 knots. Uh, Answer air temperature is 23 degrees Celsius and the QH is 1018. So that is our landing data entered in there. We are currently descending to 10,000 feet. Although I'm um, going to get down to 9,100 now. And then passing about 11,000, we'll get the local Q&H 1018 set. So what we can do is get the land lights turned on because as much as we are 5,000, 15,000 feet uh, above sea level right now, we're actually uh, just passing about 10,000 now uh, from ground level. So yeah, it's been a pretty uneventful flight. It was smooth flying over the Atlantic, over North Africa, coming down through the Central African Republic. Got a beautiful sunrise uh, view there. And yeah, just getting ready now for our landing into Nairobi. Um, so I have got the localizer frequency there, 110.3, and the approach course 053 plugged in. And we're flying to the Gong VOR right now. Okay, so there in the Gong Hills. And then it'll be the Jomak 2 Alpha, I think, is where we should be flying. Yep, Jomak 2 Alpha, there we go. Um, and then we're going to be flying the RLS from a 06, so everything should be good, should all go to plan hopefully. And in fact, it's going to get the local QNH 1018 set. All we can start doing is start controlling the speed. See, so yeah, after going, we're going to start slowing down to get two hundred and Nessos. Enter those in. And approach briefing, radio and courses identified and set. So you got the RLS frequency in, and we'll get 053 plugs in. Check altimeter is set 1018. And we'll assume you've given the landing announcement over there. So that's the approach briefing completed. Wilson Airport over there and you can see JKIA off in the distance ahead of us. Let's get some speed brakes out. Uh, we'll just continue our descent down to 7100. Go on the vertical speed right now, and then we can control our speed up here. Let's put full speed brakes out. So 
Let's get it all the way down to 180. Actually, 176. Um, I might be a little bit fast coming in here. Hopefully, can get the aircraft slowed down. Okay, flaps one. Also making sure that we are continuing our descent. Alright, get flaps 15. We're now turning for final, we can arm the localizer. I can get the gear done. Nose like can come on. Do a carbon call. And speed brake is armed. Uh, we haven't got the flap set for landing just yet. Get the glide slope armed as well. Watch this hold up at 7,500. Alright guys, um, let's get our final approach speed, 138, plugged in. Oh, sorry, final approach speed of 143 knots, and then we'll get 138 uh, a bit closer. And about, say, 5 DME or something. Get the flap set to 17. 18.20 and we get full flaps 30 don't know why the aircraft hasn't held us there kept sending Alright, we're going to be just holding here now at And let's get the final landing speed 138. There you go, we should be catching the glide slope now. Alright, so we got our speed brakes armed, auto brake set to 1, landing lights are on, flaps at 30. Alright, gonna take over manual control in a second. Manual control, I have control of the aircraft. Approaching zero six. Maintain the glide slope and watch out for that 14 knot headwind there, it's coming at a slight angle. Just a tad bit high. Minimums, we're landing. Landing 
Long landing. Long landing. One. One. Thousand. Feet. Remaining. Okay, we're down. Speed brakes are up. And... Reverses are up. Diesel. Passing 70 knots there, over to manual braking. Now we'll disarm the auto brake. Got the speed brakes cleaned up. Got the wrong turn off lights on, taxi light can come on. And we'll vacate over to the right here. Welcome to Nairobi. What we're looking at there, 12 hours and 43 minutes flight time. Let's get the flaps cleaned up as well. And let's get ourselves taxied over to the main apron and terminal 1A. Just take a look at what gate we should be taking. Taking a look here, Navgraf charts, and I always like to take gate um, 1 7. Get the terrain radar off. And we can finish off our after landing checklist. And we will be doing an APU taxi, so we get the APU fired up. And the icing off. Um, seeing the arrival information is being given out in the back, exterior lights, we have got those set. Go over to standby. Perfect, offline the checklist complete. And there's the arrival announcement being given in the background there. So a taxi in will take hotel into the apron and all the way around to uh, stand 17. Let's make sure we don't break 30 knots. Wanna keep it below 30 knots on dark summers. Okay, 
Okay, here's a hotel coming up on our uh, left, next on the left here. So it's a fairly straightforward taxi. Take us out into the main apron here and around to Terminal 1A, Gate 17. Alright, I can get our right half lights um, turned off. Here's Terminal 1A, gate 17, should be just up ahead over there. Get the tax lights turned off, and we get ourselves turned into the stand here, nice and slow. Let's follow the directions of the marshaller into the stand. Um, I don't know if he's done there. I think that is a stopping point right there. Where right, I get the parking brake set. Should be good over here. Go and run through the checklist. Uh, parking brake is set, and leave the seatbelt signs on for now. Or not. Get both engines turned off. And there you have it. We're here parked up at gate 17 in Nairobi. After a beautiful uh, 12 hours and 50 minutes, uh, no, 12 hours, almost 13 hours really on the block time there. So, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Good to get back to Nairobi now from New York. And yeah, so just finish off the ACOS here of Sky Team Virtual, send that off.
Who that is sent off? And let me say what the girl, what the landing ray was for that flight. It's minus one twenty eight feet per minute, so not too bad. Nice landing there. Get the beacon light turned off. Right, emergency lights overhead here. Can get those off wherever they are. Interesting. Um, let's take that off. And we have the APU. So we can get the. We can leave the APU on. Perfect. There we go. Done and dusted. Welcome to Nairobi, guys. We'll get the jetway connected. And there we go, the jetway is connected up to the aircraft. Welcome once again to Nairobi, here on the ground after a beautiful 13 hour flight from New York. Everything went smoothly, so I hope you guys did enjoy that one. And stay tuned for the next video coming out next week. Uh, it's probably going to be the. Well, not the, the last, but the last Kenny Ways video we do for a little bit. I've got some more planned uh, in the not too distant future. But yeah, stick around, got some nice videos planned for the next couple of weeks. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, drop a comment down below. And don't forget the Discord server link is in the description, so go ahead and join that. But yeah, that's going to do it for this flight, uh, this episode, guys. So once again, hope you did thoroughly enjoy it. And don't forget to stick around for the replays coming up after this. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one and uh, stay tuned guys for the next video coming out so um, I'll see you guys in the next one don't forget stay safe out there and as always I'll see you in the skies take care guys bye bye